Hey, good evening. Now you're going to play Macula Grid. One more grid. Going to go play grid number 387 as I make up the ones from when my voice was gone. Let's see. Uh, I think I did all right on the last one. I think I was at a minute and like an 11. So, you know, par for the course, I think is, is what we consider that at this point. Not you guys, but me. <laughs> some of you guys. Um, I There are some great scores. There's some scores. I I love seeing the scores, whether they're way better than me about mine or e even worse than mine. I love seeing progress from people too. So, um, I, yeah, I didn't mean to set, make that sound bitter, but uh, I I love the challenge of trying to. One day I'll get to a zero like some of y'all, but uh, probably. Well, we'll see. Let's play grid number three eighty seven and see if that'll be that day. All right, probably not. Um, all right, let's get, see here. We'll go Jeff Montgomery. Ooh, good one to start. Um, Roberto Hernandez. I don't know who I'm gonna, else I'm going to put. James Shields. That's who I should put. He works here too, though. Uh, it's done. Uh, did, actually, I don't know about Longoria. McGriff works, though. Uh, let's go Jermaine Dye. All right. Uh, Billy Hamilton. That one. Crawford. And how about Apparicio? 116, 53 seconds with the most obvious ones. Oh, maybe I have none of them. I almost went Longoria. End up going Fred McGriff instead. Billy Hamilton, Carl Crawford. So I got it twice. Scotty Poe. Good to see him in there. All right. That'll be interesting. I don't, I don't think there's a uh, a super low score in the cards. We'll see. Stop share. And we'll reshare. Find the right grid. All right, so we're playing grid number 387. <coughs> Let's see, what do we think of Cy Seymour? Good start, under point one. Um, Let's see, Jorge Cantu? No, he had 100 RBI season with both Tampa and Florida, I believe. It's 1%. Let's see, 100 RBI season for the White Sox. I think Tartable works. I'm like, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm like pretty sure, though. Uh, Fisk will work. Uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson will work. Al Simmons will certainly work. Um, ooh, let's go uh, Carl Reynolds. I believe 104 RBI or something in 1930. All right, another good one. All right, maybe, maybe here's where we get Hal Morris. Sub one, not bad. Uh, Deion Sanders will work here. I don't get a lot of ch chances to use Deion Sanders, but he'll work here. Um, let's see. Down here. I know Shoeless Joe Jackson definitely works for Cleveland. And I know Eddie Collins works for the Philadelphia A's. I don't know if either of them work for Chicago. Um, I think Nellie Fox works. Pretty sure Ozzy Guillen works. Pretty sure Ray Durham works. Fairly sure Mike Cameron works. But I'm not ultra confident on these guys. Um, let's see. Let's get another Matt Pat Borders sighting here. Point three. Kansas City and Tampa Bay. Other than Roberto Hernandez. 
where is there some overlap here? Both small market teams. Yeah, Shields would have worked. So maybe I should have used him and held on to Roberto Hernandez. Over here, I know Jason Bartlett, because I've seen it before. Jason Bartlett had exactly 30 in 2009. Takes 1%. So let's go through some original rays. See if any of them sound like people who may have may have been Royals. I wonder if Rolando Orojo. Did he make his way over to Kansas City? I'm not sure on that one. Mike DeFelice, maybe. Certainly not Conseco or Castilla or Boggs. Kevin Stocker, I'm not sure on. Randy Wynn. Yeah, Zobrist is uh Zobrist sticks out. I kind of think Ken Griffey Sr. might have stolen 30 bases for the Reds. Pete Rose didn't, even though he was a leadoff hitter. Morgan did a few times. He was stealing over 60 in the MVP years. Um Who else? Uh, Veda, Veda Pinson. I feel pretty confident on that one. And maybe Eddie Collins down here. I'm just not 100% sure on Eddie Collins. I know he did it for Philadelphia. I'm not sure about... It. You know what? He was... I think he had over 600 crystal bases. He's got to work. He does work, but it was pretty popular. All right. And over here, which direction do I want to go? Barry Larkin will work. That will probably be a pretty popular one. It's got to be someone in the 19th century. The first Billy Hamilton, Bill Hamilton, maybe it was Billy, but he never, I don't think he played for the Reds. I think he played for the Braves. He, he stole over 900 career bases, though. He was right behind Lou Brock, right ahead of Ty Cobb. Um, how confident am I in Ken? Oh, you know who will work? My Cameron. My guy. And that leaves Kansas City, Tampa Bay. I mean, I think Will Myers works. Actually, it depends. When did he start his career? Ooh, maybe not. Maybe he was just a prospect with Kansas City. Oh, I shouldn't have. I should have played Shields or Zobrist and then save Roberto Hernandez. Then I'd be done. Now I'm trying to come up with someone. Um... Ibianas won't work. If there's any other crazy closers, Matt Stairs has never played for the Rays, I don't think. Dotel never played for the Rays. It's a tough one. Not going to get Sweeney or Die. Oh, Damon will work. Uh, do I want to play Damon, though? That's going to be pretty popular. Let me see if I can come up with someone better. I'll, I'll give myself a minute to come up with someone, maybe 30 seconds to come up with someone better than Johnny Damon. Um, Julio Franco never played for the Royals. That's a fun little pick. When it works. Yeah, I'll just go Damon. Oh, that was way too pop. Okay, 21. 48% though, so check it out. What are some good ones there? I, I gotta I gotta check that one out. 69 options. Carlos Pena played for the Royals. Pretty 
Brad Boxberger, great, great guy. Ray Sanchez, Greg Zahn, these are good names. Jamie Wright, ah, should come up with Jamie Wright. Oh, well. All right, well, thanks so much for playing. This will be the last one I do tonight. Already feeling my voice kind of starting to slip. You all have a wonderful rest of your night, and uh, I'll be back here tomorrow. Peace.